So hi, everyone. I just Hello. want to make sure that everyone can hear us before we begin. I know it's a few minutes before um, the scheduled time, but I just want to make sure everyone can hear us. So if you can go over to the chat box, which is over here on your right hand side, or it could be on your actually right hand side, and just type in, yes, you can hear us. I just want to make sure that um, before we begin, you guys can actually hear us. So let's wait for that. And we will see. So hello, hello. Guys and girls. <laughs> So I don't see anything. So, ah, there you go. Okay. Thank you, Ted, for uh, confirming that you can hear. Anyone else have any issues? Um, just let us know over here on the chat box. Ah, here are you guys. Okay. Ah, okay. Well, thank you. If you click mm -hmm. on, I hear here, um, we can hear you, but clicking on the chat can kind of mess, mess up, up the, video. the video feed. Okay, loud and clear. Perfect. Okay, good. So I'm glad that you guys can hear us. This is perfect. So um, we want to welcome you all here um, to the webinar. We are Karen and Neil. And for those of you who are joining us for the very first time, welcome. We are the Private Label University. And um, also just to let you know kind of um, how to maneuver this webinar over on the right i guess it's on your left hand side um there is a question mark a q and a uh, tab if you click on that you'll be able to ask questions throughout the webinar and um what we will be doing is after the webinar we will be doing a q and a and we will get to your questions but i know sometimes as you are listening to the webinar questions come up and as they come up, um, it's a great place just to kind of jot them down and then we'll get to them. So again, over on your left-hand side, you'll see the question mark and um, that box will pop up and then you can put your questions in there. So for those of you who don't know who we are, uh, Karen and I have been sourcing, importing and private labeling products for some of the biggest chain stores in North America for over three decades. Stores like Walmart, Michaels and Toys R Us uh, teaching and sharing with them secrets to finding new products and getting them into their stores so they can sell them. And we are a wholesaler, a distributor, a uh, private label specialist. We're manufacturer, drop shipper, and of course, Amazon and eBay sellers and vendors. And we're mentors to countless retailers and product entrepreneurs. And we kind of fell into what we do today because of what we've done with chain stores, which is finding really cool products uh, to private label and import for them to sell in their stores. And because we've been doing this for so long, for over 35 years, we have created a name for ourselves in the retail private label and importing industry. And because we are well aware of how difficult it is to get your products into retail stores, the popularity of private labeling a product and selling it online is booming. And because of that, over the last 10 years, we've been approached by so many entrepreneurs to help them start a physical product business online. And that's exactly what we did. We took our 35 years of experience and started sharing the secrets with product entrepreneurs like yourselves, how to find the perfect product to sell online by focusing on sourcing and importing and shipping and customs and packaging and private labeling so you make money and not lose money and let me tell you in 35 years of importing and exporting we have seen it all and what we're most excited about is the influx of entrepreneurs looking for products overseas and the opportunities that have opened up to access the products to private label and of course sell online and that was something that was unheard of years ago however with these new opportunities it is really important to equip yourself with the right tools and of course surround yourself with the right people. And that is why we are outright blatant about who we are and what we do. We are not marketers jumping on the Amazon bandwagon selling with a, you know, a few years of experience. We are real importers and private label creators who have been in the business working with huge successful businesses building brands. And we've been building relationships in Asia for almost 40 years. And this is one of the reasons why we share with our students the opportunity to work with us directly in China at the Canton Fair, which is, by the way, the largest fair in China where you have access to over 50,000 vendors. 
and we're actually going uh, this October to the fair. And it's a great place to find suppliers and new products that haven't even hit the market. It's a great place to all come together and build relationships. And that's exactly what we do. We personally walk you through the steps of our import success formula program live at the fair. Steps from finding the perfect product to private labeling it, to importing it, and then launching it. And if you want more information about this and about who we are and what we do, then feel free to visit us over on our website at privatelabeluniversity.com or um, you can visit us on YouTube as well. We do tons of training there and that you can find us at Private Label University. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always find us over on Facebook at our Private Label University Facebook page. So like you, we too are Amazon sellers and we have been for many years. And the hardest part I feel of being an Amazon seller is making sure you are attending to everything from listing your products, to optimization, to brand registry, to inventory control, to shipping, to customer service and feedback, to advertising. Do I need to continue? There's tons to do. And I have to be honest, there are some great tools out there that have really helped to keep all of us organized. But for most, what I'm hearing is now, all these tools are now our all unorganized. There are too many tools now available, which means more login IDs, more passwords that you need to remember. And you need to remember what tools you have to use, not to mention you're paying for all these tools. And that really adds up. It takes from your profits. And I think actually we have personally over eight tools that we are currently using. At least eight tools yeah. that we currently use. And I find it very overwhelming. So after an extensive search to try to consolidate all our tools, I came across a tool that I had to share and it's called Cash Cow Pro. So it's finally an Amazon tool that does it all in, in and all in one place, which means no more need to remember so many passwords, no more logging in and out of different accounts. So from one Amazon seller to another, it's time to stop wasting money start consolidating and check out this cool tool. And that's why we reached out to Cash Cow Pro to walk us through and show us how to use this tool. And this is really the main reason for this webinar is to share this tool with you. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you Anthony Watts from Cash Cow Pro, who's going to share with us the number one Amazon tool everyone should be using. So a little bit about Anthony. Uh, he's been on the ground at factories, working with factories in Asia for over 10 years, uh, living in China, Hong Kong, Japan, Thailand, and Vietnam. Anthony is one of the co-founders of Cash Cow Pro, and it was originally started to solve many of the founders' own Amazon business needs. Uh, setting up and running a business is hard enough already, so the founders designed this tool to automate the most common task that a seller needs, allowing them to really focus on the growth of their company. So we'd love to introduce Anthony Watts from Cash Cow Pro. So let me just bring him on here. Oh, wait, hold on. We can hear you. So hold on one sec. Let me try to mute myself. Hi everyone, uh, great to meet you all. Um, thank you very much for the wonderful introduction. Um, yeah, so I've been I've been living in Asia the last uh, 10 years, really enjoyed it. Uh, my background has been working with factories, manufacturing, developing products. Uh, and a couple of years back, I came across the Amazon opportunity from a friend of mine who was selling on Amazon with great success. And given my background with sourcing, with uh, quality control in China, I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna check this out because I was selling to retailers, I was selling to distributors. I had much less control. I had to do always what the the big customer wanted me to do, and and it kind of kept me stuck on the ground in China. So I looked into the e-commerce opportunity available through Amazon, started selling there. Uh, found that the initial steps to get going were weren't too complicated. It was great, but then managing the day-to-day -day business, tracking my my products, my sales, tracking how my uh, my products were performing for keywords, for reviews, started to take up more and more of my time. I had a virtual assistant who was helping me collect a lot of the data, but it was just spreadsheets everywhere. 
So myself and another seller who has a very strong technical background, he's been developing uh, top class software for over 15 years, uh, decided to try and take all of these different features, functions, tools we're using, spreadsheets we're using to manage our business uh, and consolidate them into one main tool, which is was first released to uh, just a few friends of ours, uh, other sellers. And then we started, after they're getting their feedback and people loving the tool that we had built, started releasing it up out to the open, up to the public. And the goal with the whole of Cash Cow Pro is simply to have all of the main features, all of the main tools that you need to run your Amazon business all in one place and at great value too. I mean, I was paying $100 plus just to track my sales and profits, $100 plus a month to track my keywords, $100 plus a month for messaging. So hundreds of dollars a month or thousands of dollars a year for what were just individual small features. So we put all of these features from other tools together into one package, which I'm gonna run through very shortly with you. Um, and we decided, you know, we're not going to gouge people the way I felt I was being gouged by a lot of the software providers. I had to use some of the tools to run my business, but they were charging me in excess of one or two thousand dollars a year to be able to use their tool. We, we priced that twenty nine ninety seven a month. We have all the main features you need, and we keep adding more features every every four to six weeks. We add a new powerful feature into the tool, um, and I'll go over what we're planning to add in at the end as well because there's a lot to show you first. So I'm just going to go over to my screen now. And just start to run you through some of the main features of Cash Cow Pro. So what you see here is the main dashboard. And really it's your, your heart, your nerve center for your business. It shows you how much sales you're doing in a particular uh, time period. Uh, how many units you sold, your orders, the average price you're getting. But then what it also does is then calculate your actual profit that you're making on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week or month-to-month -month basis. You can, I, I mean, I personally log in and, and our customers just log in in the morning, have a quick look, and they can see how much they made in actual profit yesterday. The, the profit number, basically, it takes the sales from Amazon, removes the FBA fees, removes the promotional fees and pay-per-click costs, takes away the landed cost of the product, which is the product plus the freight into Amazon, leaving you with your actual net profit for whatever time period you choose. So it's just a really quick way to see how your overall account is doing. And this is great whether you have one product or you have 10, 20, 50, 100 products. It's just an easy way to get all of the data you need instead of calculating it all on spreadsheets. We will be adding refunds into this cost um, shortly in the next two weeks as well. And then we'll also be adding additional costs that you can remove as well. So if you want to put in how much all your tools cost you each month and then divide that by uh, 30 days for, for a month's time, you'll see exactly how much your Amazon business is making. So this makes it really easy to see uh, your performance for your overall account. And then below you'll see that by, by marketplace, because we offer uh, EU as well as North American uh, support and UK too. You'll see each product, uh, how it's been doing and how much profit it's actually making, a quick snapshot of the inventory and the BSR, all on the main dashboard. Then if I, I can hit charting to see how, how our particular product's been performing over a period of time as well. And that's the, that's, the, that's the main dashboard. From here, by hitting one of the, the product SKU numbers, you can then drill into the numbers and the details for a particular product. So this is an, this is an example product, the sports armband. Again, we have a, a similar dashboard, but this is just for this one product. So you can see day to day exactly how it's been doing, how much profit it's been making, uh, what the margins are like for this product, how much the pay-per-click cost has been. And what you'll notice is along the top here for this particular product, we have the summary, inventory, performance, market metrics, and reviews. And the idea behind this page is from the main dashboard, I can choose one item, and then very quickly I can scan through all of the quick, all of the main areas of a particular product and know exactly how it's doing. So I'll just run you through that now. Um, this is the uh, inventory tab. And basically what it's showing you is your current stock as it stands today. 
how many you've been selling over the last three days on average per day. And then using these two numbers, it calculates when you're going to run out of stock approximately. Um, and we will be adding a new feature here as well, which is you input your landed, uh, your lead time. So how long it takes for, to get the product from the factory in China into Amazon. And what this will do is it will tell you how much you should reorder and when you should be thinking about a reorder as well. So if your lead time is 30 days, you're selling 10 a day, you're probably going to want to reorder 300 units or so 30 days before your inventory gets exhausted or you run out of stock. So the tool will tell you that. At the moment, it's just telling you when you're going to run out of stock based on your current stock levels in Amazon. What we also have, because this is based on three days, is your average sales for the last seven days and the last 30 days. Because sales on Amazon can jump around quite a lot. So by having the three-day average, the seven-day average, and the 30-day average, as well as predictions when you run out based on those, it just gives you a clearer idea, a window of when you potentially need to reorder uh, your inventory as well. The next tab is performance. So for the same product, I can now see my buy box performance, my conversion rate performance, and my session performance. So this very quickly lets me see, for example, if I take conversion rate and hit chart, and then look at the last, uh, this is quite a new product, so last 14 days, you can see that the conversion rate tends to jump around a lot. There haven't been any major changes to this product at all. There's been no testing done in it, no changes to the title, but the conversion rate jumps around a lot. So just going into Amazon once a week and looking at conversion rate doesn't really tell you what's going on with the, the product. This, this feature just gives you a quick overview of these key stats. I mean, sessions is how many times someone's landing on your page looking at your product. You want this to be growing over time, uh, and you can grow that by driving off Amazon traffic and also optimizing your keywords on Amazon, and we'll cover that uh, briefly in a moment as well. The next section is the market metrics, and basically what this shows is your price versus the top five competitors for that niche. And all you do is you enter in your main keyword here, and then we scan to see how you're doing versus your competition, how many reviews you have versus your competition, and how many you're selling versus the average of the top five competitors for the niche that you've put in as well. The next section is reviews. And what this does is it tracks your positive, neutral, and negative reviews. Um, and so you can see quickly how your five, four, three, two, and one star are changing week to week as well to see if there's anything that you need to look out for, watch out for. I mean, personally, I was tracking how many reviews I've been getting on spreadsheets. This lets me quickly check the change in reviews week to week. So that's that's the product dashboard and then the individual sections on that particular product so that you can actually drill in very quickly. I mean, you can see it takes me about you know, 20 odd seconds to just have a quick overview. And then if something's wrong, if I go to market metrics and see that my price is 120% of my competition, I know instantly they've dropped it and I can then quickly adjust. But this lets me see all of my key statistics, all of my key data very, very, very quickly. And if you're using the tool, if you're going through this dashboard or the other sections, and you find that there's something that you want to add to it, there's a feature or an idea for an improvement, we love getting that from uh, users. Most of the tool uh, in the last few months has been built based on user feedback. Uh, so just feel free to email us at hello at cashcowpro.com with suggestions, with features you'd like to see, and we'll get those uh, into our development schedule as soon as possible. We, we're building very, very quickly, um, and usually suggestions, ideas are built within uh, four to 10 weeks of a user saying, hey, I'd love to have this feature, if it's a big feature. And if it's a smaller feature, we can usually get that in within three to four weeks as well. So the next main section of the tool is the keyword section, and this is the main menu along here, which shows you all of the features. And Basically, what the keyword section does is allow you to track all of your main keywords for a particular product. Amazon is first a search engine, second a, a product company. I mean, if, if customers cannot find your item or they're searching with terms which you don't rank for, then you're not going to show up. You're not going to be relevant. And 
unlike Google's pay-per-click, Google's pay-per-click, if, if I decide I want to advertise bottled water, even though I'm selling an iPhone case, and I pay for the keyword bottled water, it's going to show up in the advertising. But with, with Amazon, the pay-per-click, you get more impressions if you include that keyword and that word in your search terms and in your front end, so your title, your bullets, your description, your features. Then you, Amazon sees you as more relevant, and then it displays your ad more. It's actually, the pay-per-click isn't purely you pay for the advert, it's checking relevancy at the same time because it wants to display relevant ads to its customers. It's a little different from Google. So we, uh, we recommend that you spend uh, as many hours as you can, really. I mean, it takes around a day to do really detailed keyword research across um, so Google Keyword Tool. Merchant Words is a popular keyword tool as well. To build a big list to decide which 5, 10, or 20 main keywords that you want to try to rank for, uh, avoid maybe the top most popular one in your niche when you first launch, and and aim to rank for your top, you know, the, the next second best down to the to the fifth or the tenth keyword. Get those into your title, into your features and description and bullet points, and into your search terms, and then track to see how you're doing. And any promotion you do, any uh, giveaway you do, you really want to be giving the promotional, uh, the reviewer, the keyword that you're trying to rank for, and then asking them to organically search in Amazon to find a product, and then to buy it having found it organically. This will boost your ranking much faster than using any special URLs or directly linking them to the keyword. And then you can actually track the results of your promotion, how that keyword's doing week to week, month to month, in Cash Cow Pro as well. So you can add the keywords here, there's a suggester, and you can add your own here as well. And we will be uh, in the next in September, we're going to be looking at the whole keyword section and building out a much more powerful keyword suggestion tool, which then basically tells you what the best keywords are for your listing as well. But for now, you can track your keywords, you can track your performance for your products. What we also have under the keyword section is a quick page analysis tool. What this does is just check your title length, your features to see that you've got five out of five, whether you've got enough images, seven plus, uh, whether you're using high res images, your rating, your reviews, your description length. So this product's description is quite short. The longer the better because there's, you can, one, add more keywords, but two, you're just providing more value to the customer by having a longer description about exactly what the product is. What this, this section of the keyword tool also does is check whether your keyword is featured in the title, in the features, in the search terms, and in the description, um, just to check whether it's fully optimized. And what we recommend for the keywords, for the tracking, is to focus on those 10 or 20 keywords that are going to have the most impact on your business. Yes, you can add a 1,000 keywords, but if you're not checking them day to day, it's not going to do anything. It's much better to have five keywords and say, OK, I'm going to do promotions around these keywords. I'm going to push to get to page one for these five. Once I'm on page one for these five, then what I'm going to do is add another five and then go after those slowly with promotions and build up. Because what you should think of is each keyword is an individual market. If you go to Amazon and you search, I can, I can show you now, actually, Amazon. If we search for iPhone case, iPhone It's a little slow. We can see the results here, but if I now change this search very, very slowly, the exact same product, I'm searching iPhone 6 phone case, the results are completely different. Totally different. It's almost like two different markets. So each keyword is essentially a market, which is why keyword research, keyword optimization, and keyword tracking is essential to your Amazon business. I mean, it's the same product, iPhone 6 phone case, but look at the results versus iPhone 6 case. Completely different as to what's shown at the top. So that's why choosing keywords, making sure that they're fully into your, your listing and then optimizing and promoting for those can make all the difference to your Amazon business. And in addition to pay-per-click, those two things is what's going to get your sales really 
going. Um, and if you think of creative ways, uh, creative keywords, you're basically targeting new markets that your competitors might not be. Um, I mean, I tried a product uh, a few months ago. I just used keywords around gifts for men, for example. I dug into the keywords available for that. I found a few that were good volume but not used much. I inserted them into my listing and I was ranking for them on page one within four hours. So it's doable if no one else is using those keywords, which is why the keyword research is essential. It might take longer, it might take uh, a shorter time. But the point is Amazon is checking to see, do you have that relevant keyword that someone's searching for somewhere in your listing? So that's the idea of the keyword section of this tool, the tracking and the page analysis. We also have a section called the keyword matrix, which you might type in. Anthony, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but we seem to have a little bit of a sound issue. Okay. So I think people, I think it's um, in and out of the microphone. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll slow down a little and then that should okay, perfect. be okay. Sorry. Okay, perfect. No problem. Just let me know if it comes up again. Thank you. Um, so if I search foot sleep, what this does is it tells me if one, the competitors got five out of five features, seven out of seven images, but then also if they're featuring the keyword in the title, the features and description. I've typed in this keyword, this page has gone almost all red, so you can see that it's competitive. So it's just a, another way of checking uh, a keywords or main keywords that you're thinking of using uh, very, very quickly. So if you come up with 10 keywords that you want to rank for in the keywords section, you can then check those keywords and decide which ones you want to use by using the keyword matrix as well. So that covers the keyword section of the tool. The next main section um, is, we'll go over this in a minute. So the inventory, um, okay, so basically this page is a snapshot of all your products inventory. So you can quickly see how much stock you have for all your products, when it's gonna run out, and actually the current sales velocity. So you can sort by that to see how, um, which products you should be focusing on reordering and then if you hit more details on the inventory page, it just takes you back to the snatch, the, the, that product dashboard metrics. The next main section of Cash Cow Pro is the A-B testing section. And what, this, what an A-B test is, basically you can test two, three, or four different options of um, the title, the features, the main image, or price for your product. So with the tool, if you choose a product, you can select price, and then you can enter in four different prices. And what it will do is it will automatically test those different prices to see which one sells the most, has the highest conversion rates. Cycle days is how many days you're gonna test each option. We do recommend a week, because sales on Amazon, as you saw with the conversion rate for the product I showed you, they jump around a lot day to day. I mean, there can be differences of 100% from one day to the next. So if you, we, we recommend you test any price, any image change, any title change for at least seven days so that you can really see what the result is. So I've just set up a new test. What I've done is I've chosen a product, I've selected that I wanna test the price. Each price will be tested for seven days and I've put in four options. You can just put in two if you want. And basically what it's gonna do is once I hit create, it will automatically change the, the main price to $10. After a week, it will change it to 12. Another seven days, it will change it to 14 and then 16. And then at the end of the test, it will report back which one sold the most. So it's, it's a good way to optimize your, your product and your listing by actually testing which price is the best. Because when you first launch, you're not sure. You see your competitors charging $20, so you charge 19 but you don't know if that's the best price for your particular product. I found that the price, the, the sales volume has increased massively for some products when I've increased the price above my competitors and other products just by decreasing maybe 50 cents below a competitor, then the volume has gone up a lot. So sometimes an increase helps, sometimes a decrease helps. The only way to really know is to test the pricing, test your image, test your title and test your features. So this tool lets you do all of that in a relatively simple manner. All you do is hit a new A-B test, 
and then input the options, or you can upload four different main images as well to test too. The next section is the messaging, um, and this is for automatic feedback collection emails. Uh, may, maybe you're using a, a service like Sales Backer, Feedback Genius, Feedback Five. It's basically the same functionality as that. We include unlimited emails um, free of charge with your membership of Cash Cow Pro. So once you're set up and the emails are going out, as you grow, you don't get these additional bills and charges that you might do um, with some email providers. We have a preloaded set of templates of free emails. So that will be in there straight away when you log in. You can just hit enable. Uh, that template's been tested. It works well. It's generic. Or if you want to customize for a particular product, you can hit edit selected here or just edit here. And then it will let you change those emails however you want. So this is the email editor. At the top here, you change when the email will go out. Here you have shortcuts. So if you want to add in the estimated arrival or the order date or the order ID, you just hit one of the buttons and it will add it into the email here like this. You just need to make sure that you hit save at the end and it will be added to your sequence. You can add two attachments per email up to 10 megabytes. And you can have as many emails in the sequence as you want. If you want just one email, you can have one email. If you want two, three, four, you just hit new email, and it will add a new email. You add in your content, hit save, and it will add it to your sequence as the fourth email or third email in this case. So if I don't want to remove that, it's easy. Just hit delete. And you can also test your emails just by hitting send test. And it will go to the email address um, registered with Cascal Pro. So you can see how that email will look. The test email is slightly different from the main email because Cascal Pro send you the test email. But the main email, what happens is the email goes from Cascal Pro to Amazon, and then Amazon is the one who sends it to your customer. That way, it's always delivered. And Amazon also hides the email addresses uh, that it's going to and from. That's why they do that. But it also guarantees that the emails we're sending out are definitely, definitely will go to your customer. So if you do the test and it goes to your Gmail spam, don't worry, it's definitely going to reach your customer. So, so what we have is you can have a sequence for the first purchase someone makes. You can also have a different sequence for repeat customers. So you can customize this as well. And for promotional uh, purchases where someone's used a coupon or a discount, you can also set up a different sequence as well. Um, if you hit enable, then those will just switch on and start to send out from the time you get new orders. Um, if you just hit enable for first purchase, then that email will go out for all, all your customers. If you want to customize for repeat customers and customize for promotional customers, you can do that, but you don't have to. You can just hit enable on the first purchase sequence. Um, so that will go out to all new orders. Under the messaging section, we also have a seller feedback alert system. So if someone leaves you negative seller feedback, what will happen is this template will automatically be sent to them. And the idea of this is really to, one, stop them to then go on and do a negative product review, but two, also to, to contact them and say, hey, look, we made a mistake, something's wrong. Can you tell us what it is and can we fix it? So you can try and turn that unhappy customer into a happy customer. So we do that for negative seller feedback. And in the next uh, four to five weeks, we'll be adding that for positive seller feedback. So if someone leaves you good seller feedback, they'll get a template which asks, please can you leave us a product review as well. Uh, we recommend always asking for seller feedback in your email sequences first, because if they leave seller feedback and it's positive, you can then ask them to leave a positive product review straight. If they leave seller feedback and it's negative and it's about the product, you can have Amazon remove that. So the seller feedback acts as a, as a filter of uh, reviews before it goes on the product. There's nothing you can really do once it's on the product except for try to contact the customer to fix the issue. And Anthony, can you hold on a sec? We're just going to do a sound check here because it seems that people are, are, are losing you again. OK, sure. The next section is the unsubscribe section. So if someone hits the unsubscribe link uh, from your email, it's going out to them. You can see that here, because sometimes people don't want to receive your 
three or four email sequence. Or if a customer emails you and asks to be unsubscribed from your list, you can just add the email here and it will unsubscribe them as well. The final section of the messaging is really a summary. And what this shows is uh, your orders and messages sent, the open rate percentage, your positive feedback, your neutral and your negative feedback that you've been receiving, and then the summary of all the emails that have gone out here. We, we are currently doing a lot of updates to the messaging section. It's gonna be improved a lot. It works great now. You can set up the automatic sequences, no problem. Uh, you can track how you're doing, but we, will, we do have some additional updates for this that we're planning over the next few weeks, which are, which are gonna make it even better. The next section of Cash Cow Pro is then product research and selection. So what this is under selection is we call it our top 100,000 niche selector. And what we, have, what we did was we scanned over 100 million products on Amazon. We pulled down all of the sales data, uh, the pricing, the weights, uh, the volume, the size of the product. Then we also took the, took the product and we scanned uh, Alibaba for that particular product as well and then pulled in the supplier pricing, so that, that's added here as well. So we show the range of the prices that suppliers are quoting on their sites. It's just to give you a rough estimate of how much that particular item is gonna cost. So if you're looking at a new niche, or looking at a new product, you can also see the supplier cost within Cash Cow Pro. We also estimated the air freight and the sea freight based on a thousand units uh, from China to the US. Um, it's, it's, it, this, this gets changed seasonally by us, uh, but the rates are pretty uh, consistent. And what we do is we factor in the lowest of air and sea into this product cost to give you a landed cost for the item. So then what this lets us do is show you all of the products by uh, monthly cash flow after FBA fees um, here as well. So that's, that's why we've done that. And basically, Let's take, a, let's take an example, the hair removal under beauty. We've pulled in the keyword. We've got the, the cash flow. We've got how much the product's going to cost landed. Then if I want to know more, all I do is I hit more here, and then I can drill into that particular product in the competition matrix and see what the actual items are, what the BSRs are, the sales, the reviews, et cetera. And the way we've classified products is, so this is considered a great market. Uh, we have a classification system for the BSR. If it's zero to 199 or 10,000 plus, they're bad markets because they're gonna be either too competitive or too little sales. If the BSR is between 200 and 999, then it's good. And if it's between 1,000 and 5,000, it's great. And you can edit these classifications as well. So for the reviews, if it's, oh, excuse the spelling mistake there, as under 500, it's considered a great market. 501 to 800, it's good, and 801 plus, it's competitive. So on the niche selector itself, if it's considered competitive, you can check that or uncheck that and see those products within there. Good products and great. So I've got great selected here. This means that the price range is between 15 and 70 dollars. The reviews are under 500 on average. The sales are good. And what we've done is we've used the top five products in the niche to do that. And on every, um, every page in the tool, what you'll see is this red question mark. And what this does is it opens up a video explaining the feature in much more detail. It goes over how it works, what the main uh, points are of that particular feature. So if you have any questions on it, first hit the uh, red question mark, watch the video. And if you still have questions, you can reach out to help and we'll, we'll answer any questions you have. So the competition matrix is just another view for looking at the same niche to then decide if it's worth investigating further. The competition summary is the same product again, just in a table format, because some people prefer that. So we offered both. This is how it will rank position one, two, three on Amazon. And this also shows the positions on Amazon, but just a different format, which some people are more used to. My potential products is basically a summary of all of the items you're considering. So anywhere here, if you, if you think this is a good item, you can just hit save to check it out later, and it gets added to your potential products here. 
for further, further research later. And the tool really is the next selector and the competition matrix and competition summary. The idea is uh, it doesn't tell you exactly what you should go ahead with. It just gives you ideas that you should then research further, drill into further, contact factories, get a more of an understanding. But because we've done, you know, we've created over 100,000 niches, instead of you trying to come up with uh, a list of 100 or 200 products to research, by just by scanning through 50 pages or 20 pages or 10 pages here, you come across dozens of new ideas that maybe you haven't considered because we've scanned nearly all of the top products in Amazon. So all the top 100 bestsellers, everything in the top 10,000 for every category is featured within this niche selector and categorized into a niche as well. The other part of the uh, selection section is we have something called the ROI analysis. And what this does is basically, let's say I'm considering a product and before I do anything with it, before I order it, I just want to run through what my numbers are going to look like over the next 12 months. So if I input, I'm expecting to sell 500 units a month of this product here. I expect to sell it for $25 and it's going to cost me $6 including freight. What this tool does is instantly show me how much money I can expect to make per month, uh, when, I, when I can break even, when my inventory will arrive, how much investment I need to make up front, and the return on investment monthly and over 12 months. So I'll just explain some of these numbers to you. The initial investment, we're going to assume if you're going to sell 500 a month, then you probably need around two months stock to get going. So 1,000 times $6 landed cost gives you your initial investment. Your inventory arrival, so if we hit advanced options here, what you can do is you can play with how long until you get your stock. So I can change that to 45 days, or I can change that to the total lead time is 30 days to get my stock. The weight of the product is now two pounds, and it's a standard large item. So the, the inventory will arrive 26th of August, based on ordering it today, based on these numbers, so the sales price, the unit landed cost, we calculate what the FBA fees are gonna be, so what your net profit is, and using that, we can tell you when you're gonna break even if you start today based on selling this many per month. This is, once you're optimized to sell 500 a month, you should make around $5,600 a month from this product, and your ROI on the product cost is 187. So what this does is it lets you input, let's say you're considering five different products or 10 different products, you can input the numbers for them. If, if you're only gonna make $300 a month after you put in the estimated sales, the estimated sales price and the landed cost, it's probably not worth you even starting. So what this does is just give you a quick snapshot, a quick picture of what the future is gonna look like for this product. Of course, there's no guarantee that you're gonna hit 500 a month. You might hit 800 or you might only hit 350. But if the numbers don't look right on paper before you even start, it's probably not worth doing that particular product. And then this is a breakdown month to month. It shows you at the beginning, you probably need to spend around 6,000 to get this product going. But by the end of the year, if you're selling 500 a month, you'll have $50,000 in the bank back, which is a great investment. So it's just a quick analysis of, of how you're gonna do with a particular product over the next 12 months. And that's pretty much all of the main features we have at the moment. So it's the dashboard for your sales data, dashboard for an individual product as well, uh, the numbers, the profit, all of the details on how it's performing, the different tabs to see exactly how a product is performing overall. Then also the, um, we have the inventory, the keyword section, keyword tracking, keyword optimization, inventory, A-B testing, which lets you test different features for our prices, main images and titles, the automatic messaging, and the selection section. And we will be adding uh, a lot of um, new features over the coming months to Cash Cow Pro. Uh, there's been some emails in about what those potentially will be. You can see here there's a promotional section, which is just the, the framework for what's going to be a Cash Cow Pro review club. So it basically, lets you, uh, when you're launching a new item or you have an existing item that you want to promote, you can select the reviewers, do the, re do the giveaway through Cash Cow Pro automatically, and then also get those reviews and get the sales velocity up. 
I don't know if you've used other softwares like uh, AMZ Track or there's many, many different Facebook groups for review clubs. And basically, what, what we're going to be adding is, a, is an automatic system to get those initial reviews to get your product going. So whether you're launching a new item and you just need your first 10 reviews and then you turn on pay-per-click, or you've got an existing item and you just want to take it from 100 to 120 or 130 reviews, um, then you can use the review club. The other thing that we're currently building and just about to test is a, is a Chrome extension. Um, maybe you've heard of a product called Jungle Scout. We've basically taken the Chrome extension, uh, we've built our own version of it, and then what we'll also include is these filters, which shows whether it's a great, good, or competitive market. We'll show you the averages across the top of the Chrome extension. That's due to be launched on Monday uh, for testing, for beta testing. We have a group of people who will test that for us. And then in the next one to two weeks, that should be released so everyone will get it included free with their Cash Cow Pro software as well. So really what we've tried to do is cover off absolutely everything you might need uh, to run your Amazon business. And we will be upgrading the existing features as well. We did a version one first, then we did a version two, and we're gonna keep pushing those and making those better. If there's anything that you feel you need or you see on another tool that you'd like in Cash Cow Pro, let's say for the messaging, maybe there's some small feature that you're currently using that we don't have yet, just let us know by email and we'll happily integrate that. We're upgrading the dashboard and the messaging currently, and then we'll be working on uh, much, much more in-depth product research tools, as well as the review club in the following month. And then in September, we have an upgraded keyword section that we're working on as well. So feel free to reach out to us anytime if you have any questions, and I would love to answer your questions um, now, if possible. Oh my God! What in <laughs> honestly incredible! And I, you know, we've been playing in Cash Cow Pro for uh, a while. Let me see if I can get myself back here again. Um, oh, here we are. And I mean, I have to say, like I said, my biggest thing is just in and out of different accounts and so many accounts and so many different logins and passwords. I mean you did it all and mm -hmm. i'm so excited just listening today of the new stuff that's coming and the price is not changing maybe we need to um just quickly talk about that because i know and i want to thank you to everyone um uh who is on the call and who's going to be listening to um the playback on youtube i want to thank anthony for definitely being here, but also for the special offer that you're offering our, our group. And if you can talk about that, that would be great. I'm gonna post it here as well so people can see it. But if you could talk about that. Yeah, sure. So the, the price will be fixed for, your, for the life of your use of Cash Cash Pro. It's $29.97 a month. But for your group, there's a special uh, one month free trial upfront so you can really test the software out Check it out, see if it matches your business. And anytime during that, you'll feel free to contact us, ask us any questions you have about how to use any feature. We do have the videos there, and our support usually answers within 12 to 24 hours as well. So uh, the, the team, I mean, we offered them an affiliate uh, commission. They didn't want to take it. They wanted to give back to you, the listeners. So we extended that free trial much longer than normal, especially for this group because we really appreciate when someone's willing to give back and teach people that way. Mm -hmm. And thank you. I, we really appreciate that. And like, uh, like, you know, like was just what was just said, we are here for you and to share with you. So we are making no money from this. We're taking nothing from this. Um, it's just about sharing because we found this tool that literally, I mean, it does it all. Yeah. <laughs> it literally does it all. And honestly, I think my thing is that, you know, it's, I, I probably won't be leaving my house very often <laughs> because once I'm in the tool, I can't get out. It's just so amazing the things that you can do in it. And it really just organizes your business. Like, that's it. I mean, and you can just go in and it's right there. It shows you everything. It's, it's, it's a incredible. tool that if, if, if everyone uses it, mm -hmm. uh, you're making money. So it automates <laughs> your business. And you know, what more, especially in this day and age, do we want to automate our business? We want to make sure that everything's running properly. And when you do go to the tool, it gives you the information you need. Right there. Right I mean, there. 
from everything. It's, it's, it's amazing. So thank you. And you have 30 days to play in it. So, you know, click, sign up, um, play in the tool and see for yourself how amazing it is. I mean, you can see even just from the demo yeah. today. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> it really is. You're, it's 100% satisfaction when you use something like that. And again, there's, there's other tools mm -hmm. out there, but this gives you everything. And so that's why we want to share it with you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to change my screen and my mic for a second here. Okay, so let's jump into some questions. Uh, one of the first questions I have here is on the selection section, does the margin include FBA fees? Uh, yes, so in that section we take out the FBA fees. So what you're seeing is after the FBA fees, after taking out the product uh, landed costs, so that's the product plus the freight cost, what you're left with is the margin in between, and that's what that number represents. And if you have any questions at all on any of the selection part, there's a red question mark on the page, and it breaks down in detail what every single column means. And if you click any of those um, numbers, uh, there should be a pop-up that comes up and it explains how that number is being calculated as well. That's for every single number on the page. So it's clear where that number's come from, how it's being calculated. Nice. Okay, great. Um, the next question is, does the ROI analysis get saved so you don't have to put in information again later? There is a save button on it. It's not quite auto save yet, but if you hit the uh, advanced options, you can name that particular spreadsheet that you've created, save it, and it gets saved to your My Potential product, so you can come back and look at it later as well. Mm. Nice. Are there tutorials with the tool? Okay, so every single uh, tab, every single page, every single feature has a video linked uh, to that page. So if you just click the red question mark on that page, it takes you to a specific video teaching you about that particular uh, aspect of that feature. Um, what we also have is a help section with additional content as well. And if you have any further questions about how a tool works or how best to use it for your business, just feel free to reach us at hello at cashcowpro.com and we'll guide you through the best way we think to use that particular tool to boost your business. Um, and what we will be doing as well is for each feature, when you first log into it, we'll be uh, issuing a little prompt, pushing you to the, the help section, just so you can watch that video the first time you use it, because then you'll have a much better understanding how it, how it works as well. Perfect. And how long is each video about? So some of them are, it really depends on the, the tab and the feature, but usually uh, from a few minutes, it can be up to 20, 25 minutes. So it really drills into how to use the feature the, the best way. But most are between 5 to 15 minutes, not too long, but enough that you fully understand what to do and uh, how to use that tool. And does it take you out of the screen or you can then pop back in? It, it's just straight on the screen. It just opens mm. as a pop-up on that screen, on that feature. So it's very easy to 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 watch quickly and then close and then you're still on the same screen you were on and then you can start to use that tool. Hmm, wonderful. Okay, great. So if I don't have a product yet, will this tool help me find a product? Absolutely, yes. So what we've done is we've created a sign-up process where as you signed up to Cash Cow Pro, it will ask you if you're selling on Amazon yet or not. If you're not, that's fine. You just skip some of the other setup process. You can then go straight to the selection section um, uh, where, where we have the niche selector. And what we're releasing in the next few days, so before around the 10th of August, is a Chrome extension. And this will let you search and hunt for products as well. So you can use the tool, use the free trial to start to look for ideas. And then when you're ready, you can start to set up the other parts of uh, Cash Cow Pro to help you monitor your new product when it comes into Amazon as well. Great. So how does that compare with some of the other software that's out there that helps you find products? So um, a lot of people use a software called Jungle Scout, which is a Chrome extension and product finding tool. So it's it's a similar Chrome extension to Jungle Scout, but we've, we've optimized it further where the, the, the Chrome extension itself is going to tell you whether a market is good, great, or competitive using um, using the metrics that you set in. So if you think that under 400 reviews is good, what the tool, what the Chrome extension is going to do is when you're looking at a new market, it will just quickly average out 
the reviews of the top five or 10 or 20 sellers on that page, you can choose and it will tell you this is too competitive or good. So it actually, instead of having a big spreadsheet full of numbers, you've put in some filters and it can help you really quickly analyze whether a particular niche or market is good and jump through you know, hundreds of markets quickly. So you actually should be able to find a product faster than some of the existing tools out there and also input your own metrics to analyze those, those um, products that you're looking at too. So that's, that's great. And will you be able, so you'll be able to access it right from your Amazon account? Uh, so that's going to be a Chrome extension. Okay. And so when you're looking at, when you're on the Amazon page, if you're using um, Chrome, then mm -hmm. you just click the button in the top right hand corner and okay. it will show all of the data there. And we're going to make that so you can save that data, save that product if you're interested through to Cash Cow Pro for further analysis later too. Perfect. Wow. And now can you access that when you log into the account, into your account? Um, yes. So you'll then be able to access that data. You'll be able to access all of the information and the products that you're thinking and considering about within Cash Cow Pro itself. Uh, as soon as we release this feature and any new features, if you're a signed up existing member, your price won't change. You get all of the updates and everything completely free of charge. Um, and we're, we're planning a lot of new features over the next few weeks, including the product selection improvements. Mm, wonderful. And again, I can't stress enough how amazing it is to have all these um, pieces of tools, all these tools actually in one place instead of, you know, having um, email automation and, and, and uh, product selection and uh, inventory control, uh, all that stuff in all different places. It's so great to have it in one place. So one place that you have to log in, one password you need to remember. I can't stress that enough. So that's wonderful. And you said that's coming out um, uh, by the middle of August. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're testing that from early next week, and then it should be ready to go uh, within the next ten days or so. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And again, can you? I have a question here to uh, talk about the price again, the the monthly fee. Sure. It's um. So with your group, you have a special extended free trial for a month, and then after that, it's twenty nine ninety seven dollars a month, uh, all inclusive. <clears throat> And you can choose the annual package too, which gives you two free months off. And once you're in and on that, locked into that price, that price will stay the same uh, for forever. We're not going to uh, increase the price on existing users. And really, because we have multiple tools built into one, if you're canceling or stopping using another tool outside and switching to us, you're already probably saving 50 or 100% on the old fee that you were paying. Um, Personally, I was using three or four different tools before to manage my Amazon business and paying $300 plus a month. Our price is $29.97, even if you add EU, UK, um, additional Amazon US accounts. It's unlimited emails with that as well. So it's, it's a great value price, and we want to keep it that way so that sellers can get the most out of the tool when they're not, you know, they're getting great value out of it too. Absolutely. That's great value. And that was one of the next questions. Can you lock into that price? So, um, yes, you can. So that is wonderful. Thank you. And again, thank you so much for offering um, to our um, audience um, with us today this special um, promo just for them. So thank you. Well, thank you very much because it, you kindly um, waived the affiliate fee. You said that you didn't want to take any commission from us or affiliate fee from us that you wanted to pass on all of the benefit to the users. So what we actually did was we made the trial much longer than normal, passed on all of the benefit to you as the user so you can really test out the product and see if it's good value for uh, for you. So we, we really appreciate that you did that. Everyone else who's come to us before has come asking for, for money, but you guys came asking for what really is the best tools for your audience. So we really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Well, thank you. And, and you know, that's what we really try to encourage is to, you know, it's sharing, sharing information and helping people in business. Uh, again, we are not marketers. We're not looking for, you know, all these other little things. We're here to help others. And like I said, I came across you because I was trying to consolidate all these tools and it was just too confusing being all over the place. And when I found Cash Cow Pro 
and uh, reached out to you, I just thought, wow, this is an amazing solution, I'm having fun playing in it, and it's so easy to see everything so much more. And, and, you know, I'm a visual person, so I love the color, I love just the way the layout is. And, and you know, if I can share that with others and help them in their business, because really it is a business tool more than anything. It really helps you organize your business. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we designed it with the idea that you can log in, check everything, check all your key metrics, and know what to do just from looking at the the screens very, very quickly, not be bombarded by numbers, but instantly know, okay, so this product needs action, this doesn't need action, my keywords are doing fine, my sales are doing fine, I need to just do A, B, and C, and all of that within you know 30 or 60 seconds of looking at a product, you, you'll know. And and uh, I'm in there more than 60 seconds, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I like to play around in there and see everything and, and just kind of look at it and smile. So it's <laughs> I'm in there more than 60 seconds, but, um, but it's true. I mean, um, just even talking to some people who are already using the program, they do say within 60 seconds, they're in, they see their stuff, and they're good to go, and that's, so important, especially when you're an entrepreneur and you have your own business. I mean, time is so important. So, you know, it takes time, just 60 seconds, just to log in to, um, to uh, some of the other tools and then looking around and then to go into another tool. So this is great. I mean, it's all about saving time, and you definitely are saving everyone time by this, this tool. So thank you. Thank you. So um, another question is, how often is the data for the niche selector updated? Okay, so what we originally did with that was we pulled uh, 100 million products from Amazon, which is a huge, huge amount. Uh, and we are refreshing that data every one to two weeks. Um, also, every time uh, you go onto a particular niche, there's a refresh button as well. So if you want to get the absolute latest data, you can hit the refresh button for that and it'll pull that down over the next 10 to 15 minutes, so you can absolutely make sure you have the latest data for that. What we do say, though, is that with the niche selector, because there's so much there and so much information that we've pulled in from freight costs, from factory costs, from, from Amazon, from the keywords as well, all in one section, what we recommend is that you go through the tool, you go through the great and the good markets, and you go through, say, 10, 15, 20 pages, make a list of 10 to 20 ideas, and then really investigate those further, um, well, manually, really reach out to the factories, check the numbers, check everything in real detail just to make sure that that product is good um, because the niche selector is, is just to guide you in the right direction of potential good markets, but there's, there's no way to skip around the, the extra research that you need to do as well to just make sure that yes, this is the product that I'm happy with and this one is the one I want to do. Mm -hmm. And again, that's great. I mean, everything we teach in our classes and our courses, um, the step-by-steps on how to find that perfect product and how to find suppliers and how to communicate with them, this is just a great tool to add to helping you with this selection and then using our steps to implement um, the selection or the niche that you um, have uh, created. So that is wonderful. And I have to say, do you say niche or niche? Um, niche. <laughs> you say, um, do you? Being, uh, being from from from. Um, I would say I would say I would call it a market, really. So that particular mm-hmm. product is a type of market or a type of product. We wouldn't really use niche or. Mm-hmm. Niche. I say niche. I say niche niche being Canadian. Okay. (laughs) But I think in America they say niche. Or niche. Sorry. Now I'm all confused. Um, But it's true. It's about the market. And um, this it's a great tool to really kind of see everything. And, again, the way it's laid out is um, just so user-friendly. What what a lot of the people um, who are selling on Amazon don't realize is that even though a particular product um, or niche might be good, it's actually broken down into maybe five to 20 different mini niches or markets, which are the main keywords for it. So even if you find what is a good product, if there's not enough breadth and depth of the keywords, it can be very hard to rank or outcompete the other people who are selling it. 
if, if the product only has three main keywords, even if they're all good volume, those three main keywords most likely are being used by your competitors. So it's really important, even when you found a good product, is to spend the time before you buy the product, spend the time to do a bit of keyword research on the Google, free Google keyword tools and is enough to get going and just see whether there's five or 10 keywords that have five or 10,000 searches or more a month, then you know, ah, okay, so even if the top one or two are competitive, I can still try to start to rank for these other keywords. Um, so a product has really multiple markets, which are the keywords within it as well. Mm -hmm. That's great advice. And that's what gets confusing, I know, for people too, but it's, it's, it's digging. It's all about digging. I would say uh, because your product selection is the absolute most important factor of everything you do after is as a result of which product you chose. So it's worth spending those extra few days to really look at the keywords, look at the suppliers and the quotes, look at uh, the numbers, the, the cost, the return on investment that you're going to get, how much you have to spend up front, what's the likely sales price. Do that extra work on the three or four main products that you're considering and it will pay off later because you'll understand that product inside out. You'll have all the numbers, you'll have all the keywords, and then you can pull the trigger knowing that you've, okay, so I don't know 100% that this product's correct, but 80, 90%, I'm sure it's right because I've done the research. I feel confident that, that it looks right and I'm going to move ahead with this particular product. Mm -hmm. And again, just like what you said, something we teach in class, all these steps, and then, you know, not just looking at one or two suppliers, and I mean, we can talk a whole topic about this, but, you know, really, really <clears throat> doing the research and really, um, you know, kind of you know, making it, you know, going wide instead of just deep. You need to really, really kind of dig into keywords, dig into suppliers, compare and compare and compare before you're going to invest in a product. Absolutely. So um, another question is uh, that came in, um, not all my inventory is um, in Amazon at SBA. We merchant fulfill. Is this an issue? Well, currently what we do is report the inventory within Amazon itself, but what we will be doing uh, in the next Eight to, eight to ten weeks is completely upgrading our inventory section as well so that you can input uh, the location of stock. For example, you have some in your warehouse, there's some in transit from China, you've just placed an order in China for 1,000 units. So we'll have columns where you can input that for a particular product and it will factor in to the calculation as to when you should reorder and how much you should reorder. So currently the tool takes your Amazon stock, takes your sales velocity, uh, and let's say you have a thousand units in stock, you're selling 10 a day. So really a hundred days later, you're going to be out of stock. It tells you that it gives you an actual date. We're going to be taking that one step further and knowing how much inventory you have, how fast you're selling, it's going to say, Hey, 30 days before uh, this date, you need to place an order for 300 units so that you don't run out. And so that, that will work currently with FBA sellers. And we're expanding that so that if you have stock elsewhere, that it can also make that same recommendation because you can input where the stock is and how much you have too. Wow, it's like a power tool. Power tool. Uh, what? So what um, can be split tested? Images, titles, what other things? Okay, so currently you can split test the, the title, the main image for a product. You can test the features or the bullets, and you can also test the, the price. You can put in two options, three options, or four options, and test it over a few days per option or up to a couple of weeks per option if you want more data on it. The price, the, the main image, and the features, 100% work every single time, absolutely no problem. So you put in two options, three options, four options, you hit create, and Cash Cow Pro will go and test those different prices for you and tell you which price is the best one, which is selling the most. With title, um, even if, if you change it directly in Seller Central, sometimes it takes Amazon a few minutes to update. Sometimes it can take a few weeks to update or they restrict it. Even people who are brand registered still have trouble sometimes changing their title. They need to prove to Amazon that the, the product is theirs. Uh, Amazon wants some evidence. So if you're doing a test on titles, what we recommend is after you've set up the test on Cash Cow Pro, 
just to log back into Seller Central in a couple of hours and look at your product listing page and see if that product uh, that title is updated. If not, you may need to reach out to Seller Central and ask them why your title is not being updated. We've only had this uh, a small percentage of the title tests, but it does come up. So if you're A-B testing or split testing title, please be aware that you do need to double check that the first one's updated. If the first one's updated, okay, then the rest should be no problem as well. But for the, the price, the main image and the features, you can test those no problem. And actually, for some of the products I was uh, testing previously, I found testing um, testing the price, for example, at 10, 12, 14, and 16 dollars. I was completely shocked by the results. It automatically tested each one for a week, and then I found that for some products, increasing the price actually led to more sales, and for some products, a very slight decrease led to a massive boost in sales. So it's it's really important to test and optimize your listing. Um, and please be aware that conversions on Amazon, sales on Amazon can bounce around a lot day to day. So even if you manually go in and change the price from $10 to $8, um, it, the sales might have just jumped around because of some other factor. You really need to allow five, six, or seven days for a change to really see the results. So Cash Cow Pro does test that automatically for you does track the changes over a, a few days per per option and then report back what is the best uh, result to you as well. Wow. It really takes care of everything. Uh, question here. Can you, can you explain the ROI analysis again? Sure. So what we have on, on, on the selection feature is a section called ROI analysis. And basically, what it allows you to do is, if you think that you're going to sell 500 units a month, you're planning on selling at $25, and your costs from the factory and freight and getting the product into Amazon with all your labeling is $5. If you just input those three numbers, what it will do is it instantly tell you uh, how much cash flow per month, how much profit per month for the item you can expect, how much you need to invest up front. And then there's a section on the ROI analysis which lets you input okay, how long is it going to take to come from the factory? What's the weight? What's the size of the product? Is it standard uh, size? Is it oversized for Amazon? You input those additional details, and it gives you a month-by-month -month breakdown of how that product is going to look over the next 12 months. There's no guarantee that that's exactly how it will come out. But what it allows you to do is just input some basic numbers on your product, and it's predicting the future for you. So you can see in advance, okay, this product has a return on investment of 200%. I expect to make $5,000 a month profit off this product. Yes, it's worth investigating further. Yes, it's worth doing. If you put in the numbers into the ROI analysis, and it, it's very simple to use once you go on the page, um, it's, if you input the numbers and you know your return is $300 a month profit, you're only making 17% markup or ROI on the product, then maybe it's not worth doing that product. So what we recommend is you your, your three or four main items that you're considering, you, you plug in the numbers quickly, and you just compare them and see how that's going to look over the, the future and the life of the product. What it also tells you is if, if you're starting today, when you can expect the inventory to arrive in Amazon, if you put in your lead time, and also when you can expect to actually break even on that product, get your original money back for what you spent on that product uh, as well. So if you're, if you're spending $3,000 to get started, it'll give you the actual date based on selling 500 a month, for example, that's what you put in, when you're gonna have that $3,000 back, and then after that, it's profit um, that you're getting. And so it's, it's a really quick and easy way just to double check a product's numbers and metrics before pulling the trigger on that product too. Great. Wow. I mean, again, it's it's more than just an Amazon tool. I mean, it's a business tool. I mean, we're trying to we trying to do it from the sense that one, you can find the product. Two, then you can check the numbers look good. And then three, everything you need to do once you launch that product or managing that product, that you have all of the tools to do that within uh, Cash Cow Pro as well. Wow. Wonderful. Amazing. <laughs> I just say every time you answer a question, it just gets better and better and better. Just more. It's just you give, you're giving so much with this one tool. So I have, this is a very interesting question. 
So um, I think everyone's kind of curious. I think we'll be very curious with the answer and to hear the great response that I know you're going to be giving because we've discussed this ourselves as well. What is the security like? I don't like giving permission to third parties to access my account. I've heard of horror stories of these companies stealing product ideas and becoming my competition. Security is very, very important to us. And so what we've actually done is a company-wide uh, commitment that no, no, no staff within Cash Cow Pro have an Amazon account or sell on Amazon, so there's no conflict of interest. There's one main account, which is uh, myself as a director, which we now use for testing features, testing that everything that we're developing for you as a user of the tool works well, but we've made the commitment that we're not going to be adding new products to that account, so there's no conflict of interest. If we do need to add a new product to test, uh, to test a new feature, everyone will get an email, every user of Cash Cow Pro, asking them if there's any conflict of interest between this product and their product. It's, it might be just a simple item, just so we can test some feature. If there is, you let us know, we'll remove it, we won't, we won't go ahead with it. We protect your data, no third party will get access to your data. There's no, we don't, we don't reveal or give away any individual's data on sales or any other aspect. We do sometimes consolidate all of your data to help us improve the tool itself. So if we find that 100 people have done a test on the AB test and a certain type of test is performing better for everyone, we may update the feature so that everyone benefits from an improved feature. That's how we'll use the data. But there'll be no release, no third party access to your data, and no one within Cash Cow Pro will be launching new products to compete against you as well. And that's in our, that will be an agreement you get as a user when you sign up um, so that you have that assurance that there is no conflict of interest between us and you. Our focus is really on building the best tool possible for Amazon sellers. We appreciate your feedback on how we can do that, and we do need a testing account just to test that, just to make sure what we're building really works well. Uh, but that's that's the extent of um, our coverage on the security side. Wow, and I'm sure a lot of people who are on the call and are going to be listening to this in the replay are going to have their jaw open, their mouth open through this because that's been, it, you know, it's unheard of, and I know it's been a concern for a lot of people to be able to feel secure with their products. They've worked hard for it, and and uh, that is huge. It's a huge, huge issue, and to know that you've taken care of that as well. Um, I thank you from everyone because I know, as I mentioned, it's a big concern. Welcome. Um, templates, um, are they available for messaging? Do you have yes, absolutely. Available? So what we have is a preloaded free, free email sequence for all your products, which is generic. So if you just want to, if you're new and you just need a sequence and you've signed up and your first product's in Amazon, uh, the templates will appear automatically. All you need to do is hit the enable button on the right hand side and those templates will go out with a generic, they'll work. We've tested those, they work well. We've Other sellers have used those templates and said that they get great results with them, but you can absolutely customize those. You can remove emails, you can add emails, you can add attachments if you want. But there are uh, a set of templates there, and we will be expanding that as well. Is there a limit on how many emails you can send out? Uh, yes, it's unlimited, absolutely oh, unlimited. Yeah. So whether you've got one product or 100 products, we're not going to charge you more because you had 1,000 extra emails this month or it's Christmas and your, your orders peak and you get more emails. There's no additional charges because you sent a few more. It's a flat rate, so... Every feature within Cash Cow Pro, there's no additional charge. So even if you're adding the EU UK, um, there's no additional charge for that account. And then if you have emails going out to EU UK as well, there's no additional charge for that either. So emails are absolutely unlimited. And that's great because I know there are other companies out there and they charge you and you go one email over and you have to upgrade. Yes, so what you end up having to pay a higher tier of membership which can mm -hmm. be an extra 50 or $100 a month, depending on how many you're sending out. Absolutely. Now, does it backdate? So if they sign up and they haven't been, you know, there's a few-day lag or something, will it go back and, and take care of those? 
So currently what the system does is it will send the emails out from the, the date that you actually enable the system, so any new orders going back from that. What we're okay. building at the moment is with the, with the messaging, because we're updating the messaging over the next uh, four to five weeks, is a way to, to go back and select a date when you want the transfer to, to happen. So if you're using another email tool, you sign up to us, you can enable the emails and disable the other tool knowing that the emails will be sent from a specific date, from specific orders as well. But that's that's coming in the next three or four weeks, uh, maximum five weeks' time. Mm, perfect. That's good to know. So you, you mentioned Canada. Uh, you mentioned the different uh, countries: Canada, UK, EU. Can you, if you have different accounts, can it all accommodate um, all your different accounts, or do you have to have separate um, uh, a tool for each of them? Absolutely, you can put all the accounts into one. And what we let you do actually is you can choose your default uh, currency and country, and then you can see the results of all of your accounts in the one dashboard. So you can see exactly how you're making right across the whole world on Amazon. But you can also then easily select in the top left-hand corner, if you want to look at EU or UK account or your US account, you can select the specific account and just see the numbers for that, the, the profits for that, and how the sales are doing for that. So we make it really easy to integrate multiple accounts, see all of the consolidated data if you want to, or look at the accounts and the countries individually if that's how you prefer. It's totally up to you. Now, uh, how long does it take to set up? That's one of the questions. Okay, so the sign-up process, uh, depending on how technically able you are, it's not complicated, but it takes around... Uh, five to ten minutes maximum just to, to go through, set up the settings, etc. Then what happens is over the next 24 hours, uh, we'll start to pull down your data, show your data uh, in the tool as well. So once it's set up, you probably want to just leave it uh, until the next day. Then your data should start to show, and that's all done automatically for you. Then you just need to go in and add keywords if you want to track keywords. There's not much more additional that you need to do after that. We automate the process for you. Uh, the only other thing is what we normally do is we just pull back the last few days data first But if you want additional data if you want the historical data We can request that from Amazon So if you want to see the whole of the last six months or from the beginning of the year Just drop us an email We'll we'll get that set up for your account and it will automatically pull that data in Amazon does limit how much we can request per day per account so if you've got thousands of orders going back to the beginning of the year it may take a few days to begin to pull that data in. So it takes from two days to two weeks to get historical data. Uh, but, yeah, so the setup is quick and easy, and after that, pretty much automated for you. Great. So I have, there's two more questions. Are we good on time? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. So um, if you, it says, how can keyword research tool, um, how does that work again? So if you can kind of just, you know, kind of summarize again that research, the keyword research tool. Okay, so the keyword section is mainly for, uh, one, tracking the performance of your keywords. So if you're trying to rank for the five or ten main keywords in your, in your niche or market, then you can put those in. It will check daily, every 12 to 24 hours, what your position is for those keywords, how you're performing for them. Uh, it would then, there's a, in addition to that, there's a suggester. So if you've got five keywords in there, it's going to suggest other relevant keywords that you may want to try. Um, we also have a page analysis section, which then checks the keywords that you've put in and checks whether they're in the title, in the features, in the description, and also whether they're in the back end for your, for your product in the back end search terms too. So it's just a really quick way to check if you're optimized for the keywords that you're your tracking. Uh, another section of the keyword tool lets you input a keyword and see how much it's being used by your competitors, the, the top people who are ranking for it. You, if you put the keyword in and, you know, everywhere you see red on the page because a competitor is using it in the title, the description, the features, you may want to avoid that keyword. Um, the keyword section at the moment, the suggestion, it does give you suggestions. You still do need to do a manual process of keyword research that you want to input into Cash Cow Pro as well. But what we will be doing, and it's planned for September, is a big update to the keyword section. So it's actually a, a much more powerful 
Suggester gives you a, a long list of relevant keywords that you, you can use to then track and optimize your page as well. Um, at the moment, you do need to do some additional uh, keyword research, maybe on Google Keyword Tool, to decide which keywords you want to use. But you can then track those, optimize for those, uh, and test which are the most competitive as well within Cash Cow Pro. So you do a lot of updates, which is which is wonderful. Um, how often do you do the updates? Because so it seems we're, like we're every few weeks. Yeah. We're constantly developing uh, new features. So we found that um, it takes around four to five weeks to do a big update for a, a whole new big uh, feature. Um, so we, our, I, can, I can give you an outline of the, the, the plan just so you have an idea. So at the moment, what we're doing is we're improving the dashboard section. So all your profit sales, we're adding uh, extra data there. So you can really, I mean, already you, you've pretty much got everything you need to drill down into your business and see how you're performing. But we're adding a few little uh, bonus features there that will make it even more powerful. Uh, we're also currently updating the messaging section over the next four to five weeks. Uh, the, the statistics, so we show the open, open rate now. We show you that you can, um, how many reviews you're getting off emails. But we're going to be adding things like, say, you get a seller, a positive seller feedback. Then there's a template that goes out asking users to then leave a positive product review as well. So we're constantly making improvements to things. And it, normally every four or five weeks, you'll see a major update somewhere within Cash Cow Pro. We do have uh, the Chrome extension planned as well. Uh, maybe some of you are using Jungle Scout's product database and research features. We do have plan to have that in our system within the next eight weeks. Uh, very similar. We're also planning a review club in the next uh, eight to ten weeks as well. So we're, we're pushing to have absolutely all of the key areas that you need. And I feel that after around September, we're not going to be needing to add too many more uh, independent features, our focus will be on taking all of the be all of the features we have now and going from, because we're at version 2 or version 3 for most of the features, just taking them up a level, making them more powerful, more user-friendly, even, you know, even more useful to you. They're good now, but we like to make things better and better, and that's why we really, really appreciate user feedback. Uh, myself and my co-founder check 100% of customer emails. So if you come across uh, the, the messaging section and you think that oh, I was using uh, Sales Backer before and it had this little feature. Can you guys add it? Absolutely, we can. Let us know. We'll schedule it in. We'll make sure that our tool is the absolute industry leader in each area. That's our goal. So please do reach out to us at hello at cashcowpro.com. So you guys all heard it. I mean, it literally is going to do everything for you in one place. So again, you can see there's a link. Click on it. It's going to take you to the site to sign up. Again, um, you know, Anthony's giving us the opportunity through the Private Label University to offer to you the opportunity to try it for a month, for 30 days. I mean, if you go to the site, you're not going to be able to get that. This is a special offer, and you get to be locked into the price of 29.97 a month. So you can see it definitely is going to change the way you do business. It definitely has for us, for sure. So we have one last question, which actually is a great uh, segue into what you were just kind of talking about. What is the support like? Okay, so uh, as I was uh, saying, myself and my co-founder check 100% of your emails that come in. So it's not someone in the Philippines. It's not someone uh, outsourced to check emails. We personally check them because we manage all of the, 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 the developments, the updates. If there's any issues, we make sure that they're fixed very, very, very quickly. And usually you'll get a response from us within uh, 6 to 12 hours and maximum usually 24, and the issues usually fix same day. We come back to you. We tell you that we need one or two days to fix whatever it is if something's come up. But usually we try to get that out same day. Um, so our responses are usually fast. Uh, we work seven days a week. We check the, all of the customer emails and issues. So you just feel free to reach out to us at hello at cashcowpro.com if you have any issues, you notice a bug, or there's something that you'd like to add to the tool or improve, and we'll get back to you ASAP. 
Nicely. That's nice. And actually, another question just popped in here. Um, what time zone? Okay, so we're, the, the team is currently based in Asia. I'm personally in Japan, and my co-founder's in Taiwan. Um, he's from New Zealand originally. Uh, but that allows us, basically, if in the afternoon you're using Cash Cow Pro, you notice something, you email us, you go to sleep that night, we're working while you're sleeping because of the time zone difference. So you wake up in the morning, and usually that issue is resolved uh, by the next morning for you, which is fa- it works out fantastic for us because it lets us provide much better customer service Rather than you waiting all day while we fix something because we're on the same time zone, you can just leave it for a few hours, and it's it's usually done in the morning. Wow, very convenient. Very convenient. Now, are you going to be adding more countries? Uh, in terms of support? or yeah, um, No, and sorry, in terms of um, being able to use the tool in different accounts. Are you going to be adding uh, more yes, countries? Yes, we plan to. So we plan to be wherever Amazon uh, is globally, and we mm-hmm. will we can update users through the email as to exactly what that schedule is going to look like. Because there are sellers who are in Japan, there are sellers who are in other markets as well. Uh, we we just try to cover off the main ones first, which was the EU, UK, and the US, which we've done, and we will be rolling out for the other markets uh, every four or five weeks. We plan to to add additional markets to the tool, and the exact schedule for that we will update users through uh, our email system. Mm. Okay, great. Anthony, thank you so much for sharing Cash Cow Pro with all of us. We have some great questions. And again, click the link, sign up while you can, take advantage of this special, and start playing around and see for yourself how amazing this tool is. We are so happy that we found the, found your tool, really. I mean, I literally was searching to consolidate everything because I was just so tired and frustrated of having to remember so many passwords and logging in and just even remembering what tools I even had. So thank you for creating Cash Cow Pro. It is literally, uh, it's a one in all tool that every single Amazon seller should be using. And it's getting even better listening to you talking now and telling us about all the updates and what's to come. I mean, this tool is a powerhouse. So Thank you again so much for sharing with us and being here with us. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us over at info at privatelabeluniversity.com. Or if you have any questions, Cash Cow Pro, then please reach out to Anthony at um, it's hello at cashcowpro.com, correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Perfect. And um, if you're watching this on replay, feel free to leave us any comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can find us on Facebook. And in our private group, please feel free to join. And the group is called, of course, Private Label University. And again, thank you, everyone, so much. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.